Hello, welcome back to the stream. Let me just see here. Might be a little bit uh, noisy on that one. There we go. So we are back with some Euro Truck. It's been a while since I played Euro Truck now. Uh, I tested it yesterday to see that everything worked as it should and that looked good. So hopefully it will work all right uh, today on stream. So far so good it seems. But we haven't started yet, so yeah. Uh, this is a completely fresh uh, profile. I haven't done many jobs, as you can see from my income here. Uh, I don't own a truck yet. Um, boop, 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 boop. So we are just taking quick jobs. I am level zero. So when we reach level one, I can um, go for the longer distances. Um, <clears throat> so currently we are just going uh, short distances in Bergen, Norway. I'm going to focus on uh, Norway today. Uh, the furthest I will go outside will probably be Irtsals, so I can go to Norway, down here, back to Kristiansand or Oslo. Alright, so let's focus on the best paying jobs, so we can actually uh, earn some money. Uh, the prices I work with is in Norwegian Kroner on this profile, so there's that. <laughs> Let's see here. Why is it? My chatbot isn't online. Let me fix that. Let me just fix that. Give me a second. It can be practical to have the chatbot going, so I can actually see <clears throat> the chat. <laughs> that might be a good thing, so I don't know if anyone has been chatting right now. Uh, there we go. Yep. Well, that's good. <laughs> Oh, that's not good, but it's uh, good. <laughs> so, all right, here we are. Take a look around. What are we uh, transporting? Let's see. Where did I put those keys? 
there now is it here yes there we are so we are transporting four tons of radiators locally here in Bergen all right and we are in a Volvo FH 16 so currently just uh, small jobs just uh, local jobs but hopefully soon we will level up so we can uh, get the better jobs going Here we go. Here we go. I'm a little bit out of practice with this game. It's been a while since I played it. So bear with me. <laughs> I have to readjust myself to the wheel and everything. Police activity. Try not to crash into them. All right. I have not fine-tuned my setup yet for uh, for the truck sim, so I might do some changes to my to my setup, move my uh, cam a little bit, and uh, maybe move it down so it's down where the oh so it's down where the little GPS thing is. I think that might be good, so you can see more of what's happening. I don't know. Maybe it's a good place to have it. This I don't know. <laughs> have to see, because I want. I want you to see everything. All right. Where was my uh, cruise control? Is it this one? Yes. So one speeding ticket already. This is a good start. <laughs> but all right. Nothing we can do about that now. And I have to have at least, I think, at least 150,000 uh, on my account before I can uh, make a loan and get my first, my first truck. Because the maximum amount that I can borrow <clears throat> right now is just too little to get uh, get one of the starter trucks. Let's see.
Opal in my mic doesn't pick up too much of my my wheel. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Really hope. Why oh. can't I? Why can't I pull all the way around? That's weird. Really, let me readjust a little bit here. Like that. This is taking me way too long for this simple parking. should be able to go all the way around but Let's see if I move that maybe there we go ah now we are there now we are where we need to be now we can lean out of the window Unloved. All right. And we are back in another truck. When we are getting our own truck, then we can uh, drive to pick up the loads ourselves. But right now we have to make do with, um, with the company trucks. So we just go from job to job until we are have enough money to buy our own truck. I just have to check something in my Logitech. Thing. Hopefully it now is a little bit more, a little better. My wheel didn't cooperate fully. Now, yeah, now it works. I need a, I need it to turn back automatically, so I don't have to turn both ways all the time. <laughs> Because that can be a little bit annoying, and it's uh, so now the wheel is more like in a car. Just discovering this stretch of road around this uh, around uh, the pickup point here, because there is no task. 
on this area and we want 100% completion in the end so we need to discover every single road there is That is, of course, easier when we get uh, our own truck and can free ride without oh, losing money. So my plan for this game now and for American Truck Simulator is to do uh, in this game country by country oh, the same one <laughs> country by country and in uh, American Truck Sim do state by state. So we will focus on Norway first and then we will move over to Sweden and probably down to Denmark and then we'll see where we end up after that if we are going east or if we are going west or if we are going south but we will focus on Norway first and then head over to Sweden so we have to unlock some more uh, we have to unlock the our own truck so we can actually uh, drive around on our own without being bound to the quick jobs so we can actually plan our routes a little bit better that will be nice try and make this parking a little bit better now that little tandem trailer behind us here so that will of course make it uh, harder to park it Let's see how are we looking These trailers are really annoying. These doubles. I think we'll do uh, another turnaround. Try it from this side again.
can now pull straight back, slow and steady. Well, the trick is, I have uh, heard, <laughs> is to turn the first trailer in the opposite direction there we go so you are you have to use the, the way you park the, um, a single trailer you have to think that the first trailer is your truck and then use the first trailer to park the second trailer or to turn it so it can be a bit complicated but it is doable all right let's try not to get some Let's try to avoid the parking tickets, now the speeding tickets, and yeah. another double, oh that's alright. We can manage. I will go straight. So I can discover that road around there. Yes, because we are on an adventure. And let's try to avoid the uh, speed cams. I need the money. I need the money for a truck. Can't spend them all on uh, eating tickets. Close one. Hey, Kumipat, eighteen fifty-four. How are you? Welcome, welcome. We have uh, just started a new profile. White Knight of Ranger, yes, a long time no see. <laughs> long time no see indeed. It's been a while since I played the uh, Euro Truck Simulator also. But I finally, I ran out of uh, USB ports and I finally got my uh, um, a hub that can handle uh, handle my wheel and stick shifter and uh, pedals. So now <clears throat> both Euro Truck and American Truck Sim will be 
back on my on my channel on a regular regular basis you're no longer in the truck business uh, too bad <laughs> oh what happened What happened? Right. Got the easy park. Kova hell. There we go. Yeah, finally. Now we can do uh, longer distances. Awesome. Oh man, that's not the... Uh, that is real bad. That is real bad. looks like uh, maybe uh, maybe you have some issues with your keyboard <laughs> maybe you have some uh, keyboard issues that's what it looks like whoa So no longer job available right now. Well then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what your computer is trying to tell you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. What? 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 What don't, don't I get? Let's not get caught with a speed camera one more time, please. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, really? Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> You're never alone, are you? <laughs> she wants to play again. <laughs> well, what else is there for a ghost to do if they cannot play? What else should you use your afterlife for? Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully we will get some longer hauls soon. We don't have to just go back and forth to uh, <laughs> to the ferry. But I need more money so I can buy my first truck. Isabella. Cool. I also want a house ghost. Damn. That's sad. <laughs> I don't. I like ghosts. I've met some ghosts of my own. But somebody else might think that. <laughs> but I'm I'm pretty open minded towards those things. So I like a good haunting and I always find it interesting with uh, with ghosts so she has to be a poltergeist if she can type and do stuff physical and she has to be a poltergeist So she's an advanced ghost. At least level two. Let's just hope she doesn't get caught by the spam filter. Hey Lana, welcome! No, you're not late to the party, Lana. We haven't uh, been uh, up for that long. Half an hour, maybe?
We are in Bergen. Right now we are delivering um, onions. <laughs> the drive so far is uh, good. We are currently... No, I haven't found any uh, one yet that I like. If you find a picture uh, from the driver's seat towards the back of a truck, let me uh, let me know because uh, that's what I want for the background. And currently, I haven't found a, a picture of that that I can use. But I will try. If not, I will have to go over to a truck driver sometime and, and ask if I can take a picture of his driver's seat. <laughs> and I, I don't want just a truck either in the background. Because that's... Uh, that will be weird. So, then I settled for the, for the flag, <laughs> for now. I also probably may be going to add, to make a more specific team for, uh, for the truck st truck streams like I had before but I think I will wait with that until I have um, have that wheel stand I'm waiting for so I can uh, get my setup properly properly before I plan out too much not sure yet but uh, I think it's Iveco, so probably an Iveco to start with. <coughs> I think it will be uh, this Aveco Astralis because that one I can afford now. Just going to take a look at the death. The deaths. I think those are slightly more expensive. Yes, they are. So let's go to the bank. And I will take the small loan. Just make the small loans ten times. Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think I had too many money for customization anyway. So here is our uh, new brand spanking new I let go. <laughs> I'm not throwing. Yes. Let's see. Uh, 
boom, boom, boom. Mirrors are all right. I think, I think I will just leave it as is right now. All right, then we can check the job market and see what we have. There's the longer jobs, but we kind of want uh, <laughs> all right, white uh, white knight of ranger ninety nine. See you later. Let's say what? Where did uh, didn't I have a Rostock job? Oh, okay. I discovered Copenhagen. I see external contracts. So. Rank 1, delivery is up to 350 kilometers. Then why don't I have that? Ah. <clears throat> so, does that mean I'm kind of stuck with this, these jobs right now? Let's free roam a little bit until we have figured it out. Maybe I should just discover everything here in Bergen and head off to somewhere else. Maybe to Stavanger, go down there, find some jobs. But first, let me just see if there are some small upgrades I can do. Let's that one is too expensive. Mm. No. Nothing that really is of interest. Except I can have uh, have my flag. That's cool. <clears throat> my Norwegian flag. And maybe that one. Yes, so that's why I will have to wait a little bit on that, but I will find a picture. If, uh, if I don't find a picture, then I will just take a in, try to take an in-game photo or something. See if I can... Uh, do that. All right.
this truck is very basic it's not really big <clears throat> so we cannot do heavy hauls with it that's for sure not yet anyway there's the death dealer Uh, yes, Lana. Uh, like, if I go into. Uh, there's two ways. When you start out, you don't own a truck. So then you only have the quick jobs. So the quick jobs you can take from any town that's discovered. So Bergen is discovered for me. And Copenhagen is discovered for me because that's where I bought my truck. So if I go like that, I can choose quick jobs that uh, they need to have delivered. Uh, no, it's uh, I'm not. I don't remember how much faster than the real real life time it is, but. Uh, the map is scaled down somewhat, so it doesn't take <laughs> too long. So yeah, so all these jobs where you see the truck here, that's uh, jobs you do for another company. If I go to the freight market, then I see the jobs available uh, for me, uh, which I can go and pick up. So these you need uh, your own truck to, to get to. And if you go to external contracts, those are also uh, uh, ones I uh, can take, but these are, you have longer time because these are online or something. Uh, yes, you take the boat down here to Hirtsals. Uh, or you can drive down and yeah, so it doesn't take too long to get out to Hirtzels. Uh I don't remember how fast uh, everything went earlier. I had an estimate of it before, but but yeah. It takes a it takes a while. It does. It takes a while to drive, but not as long as uh, in real life. So I can imagine like going from Bergen to Oslo will take about twenty minutes, maybe something like that. So if you do twenty. 500 kilometers in 20 minutes and uh, 1000 kilometers in 40 minutes and so on I the longest trip I have done in American truck sim was 5000 kilometers and that I I spent like three days <laughs> to do <laughs> Right, so now everything is nice and discovered here, but of course I didn't play for, uh, I don't know how many hours I spent, but I don't know, but it, I think it took me four hours and I uh, played it over four or five hours or something like that and I played it over three days or something <laughs> but that was in the coast to coast uh, map mod so it was kind of boring because uh, in the coast to coast map mod you have uh, long stretches of nothingness so there's not much interesting to see so it felt a lot longer than it probably was, but yeah. 
Where's my windshield wipers? There they are. So I'm think I'm going to head over to I'm going down to Stavanger. Yeah, the scenery can be really great. And if you if I have the Pro Mods mod, then the scenery is really awesome because they uh, adjust everything. But yeah, there is a lot of good scenery in the game. Um, Italy is the newest one, the newest DLC in this game. And uh, that is really cool. That a lot of, has a lot of beautiful places. I haven't been all the way around everywhere, but uh, there is a lot of cool, cool places to see. Nor the Norway, uh, the Scandinavian DLC is really, really nice. I'm looking forward to when the base game uh, updates the, the Norwegian map so you can get uh, further north. If you go, if you are going uh, further north, you have to uh, use pro mods. So currently I'm not using that. So now I'm uh, heading towards Stavanger. To find some work. Uh, can do like this and yeah there's my little bed <laughs> yeah I can probably uh, do something like that I will try but when you look from the outside there is a <clears throat> there is a character sitting in the driver's seat, so that's a little bit annoying. It depends a little bit on what I want from the view, I guess. But I kind of wanted, uh, I kind of wanted straight uh, for from front to the back from the driver's seat. That's what I want. But I cannot take that photo without uh, seeing that uh, uh, character. <laughs> but I will figure it out. I will... Uh, I will figure it out. There's a lot of trucks in the area, so maybe I can uh, talk with some of them. <laughs> Just go over, hey, can I take a photo from inside your cab? I am not a weirdo. <laughs> I promise. That would be cool. Yeah, maybe. But somehow, somehow I should be able to, to manage it. Should be possible.
Dun, 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 dun. So now we are not really making money because we are uh, just cruising. It is very relaxing. It's like driving a car. So if you find driving a car relaxing, then you will find this relaxing. It's pretty chill. Well, you can, if you don't play, if you don't have a wheel available, uh, you can play it with a controller. Uh, my setup, when I get that stand and uh, everything, it's probably around 10k, I guess, <laughs> with all the things I have. Probably 10k. Yeah, the, the pedals and the wheel, uh, they come together. So they are 2,500 knocks. And if you are getting the shifter, that's uh, five, six hundred knocks more. But I also have a add-on to the shifter. Uh, so that is was about. 1000, no, 1600 knocks, and I have a side panel where I uh, have uh, all my light switches and button brake systems and cruise control and everything, and that was about 1500. And then you have this IR, IR tracker, which also was around uh, 1500. And that stand with delivery and everything is about 3000 when it arrives. And then I have the USB hub. <laughs> yeah, but you can say I have uh, about, I think I have about 400 hours in this game and in ATS. So I have around 80. 800 hours or so across both games so far I don't remember but something like that so so yeah if you play it enough then it's uh, well worth it <laughs> <clears throat> but you don't need all the stuff that I have but uh, they definitely make the game uh, more fun but uh, as I said, there is a lot of people that play it with uh, just an Xbox controller. And I did that for a long time before I invested in the wheel. Uh, so, so that's a good substitute. I would not recommend using a keyboard, although you can do it, but it's uh, more smooth to turn the wheels and everything with the uh, with the sticks on a controller instead of the instead of the wast. <laughs> so I would highly recommend a controller over uh, over keyboard if you don't have a wheel. And it's still fun with a with a controller. I know a lot of people that play it like that. So let's see. We should find place to pick up some uh, goods uh, no sad to say it's not free but uh, you can find it on uh, sale from time to time and then it's really cheap so you find it on Steam together with all the DLCs and everything and the same with American Truck Simulator 
Uh, I don't know how much it costs right now, but uh, I would definitely get it on sale if you can. But it shouldn't be too expensive uh, as is either because at least the, the base game because the base game is uh, is not exactly new <laughs> starting to be uh, be some uh, some years old uh, it depends a little bit I like both of them uh, but it depends if you are more uh, into Europe than uh, the United States. Uh, ETS 2 has definitely most places to visit right now. So, but you also need, uh, so you probably get more game or the base in the base game of ETS 2. But there is, of course, some DLCs out there, so... So it depends. So, uh, both of them look nice um, in their own way, like there is a difference in them. So in American truck, you also you have the you have you are mostly on the uh, west coast. So there is a lot of uh, desert areas and uh, a little bit. Uh, you can recognize places to some extent. Like in Bergen, you uh, you can see the. Uh, the fortress and uh, stuff like that, but so they they try to uh, recreate some type of landmarks in the cities, and uh, but mostly they focus on uh, how the scenery in the area looks. So it's not a true copy of the game or of the real world, but uh, it's pretty good. And if you play with the Pro Mods mod, the map mod, then they have improved a little bit more. So uh, they actually have gone in and made uh, the areas even more uh, alike to the real world. So that is pretty cool. So the Pro Mods modders, they are uh, really good at uh, making it look good. In American Truck Simulator you can definitely also recognize places like uh, Las Vegas and uh, other bigger cities. I have been to Las Vegas so that's the one I can compare with the real world. <laughs> but yeah, it is uh, pretty nice. And some places you can say, oh, I have driven here in the real world, so, so that's pretty cool. Now I'm hoping we get to a company. And the scenery is really nice, like here with the river, the mountains, the sunshine shining through. So it's a good road trip, uh, road trip game, that's for sure. But there is some, some areas that I wish they had added in, in Norway, that are not added in. Like I want to see Voss, and I want to see more of the places up in the mountains between east and west. 
and of course the ability to drive uh, further north What are the most different places you can vis visit from our culture in this game? Well, let me stop here over at this motel and I can show you the map. Oh, the rest stop. Not a motel. Only a rest stop. Uh, you cannot drive to Japan. <laughs> at least not with... Um, at least not without mods. You can maybe do it with mods if somebody have made made that. So I have the Scandinavia DLC and I have the Going East DLC and the Italy DLC and I have the updated France. So I I guess the Eastern Europe probably maybe I don't know everything here is uh, Europe so <laughs> it depends so for me and you it's probably uh, probably the United States that would be most different while we are in here maybe we can Check what's up. So I like I like both at least. I like both uh, both games. They give a good variety. In Christian Sand, I can recognize the area where you go into the ferry. I can uh, recognize that from um, from the real life. That's pretty cool. Can't I rest stop here? Oh man. It's a it's a trick rest stop. That's annoying. <laughs> nice. I will take a look at them uh, later. Cool. That's awesome. I will take a look and see if uh, some of them uh, can be used. Nice. Cool. That's important. So now we are closing in on uh, Stavanger. Well, we are going to pick up some stuff. <laughs> well, that's all right. Some of the bigger, uh, bigger trucks are uh, pretty much a uh, mobile home anyway. So we will just have to see what. What works? No oncoming traffic. Silly people. I 
how long do I have? Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, well, you don't need to buy the regular ETS because ETS2 is the improved version. So the one the games you want is the ones is the games from SCS Softworks. There shouldn't be super many more. Well, if you are looking at ETS1 and ETS2, then I would uh, recommend ETS2 <laughs> because that's the improved version from ETS1, of course, and the most popular. And then I would also get ATS. So I would get both ETS2 and ATS, actually. Especially when they are so cheap. And then you also uh, probably need some... Um, I don't know how much the DLCs costs, but... Uh, later on you might uh, get some DLCs. The good thing, the good thing about uh, the good thing about the DLCs is that if you were to play oh cool if you were to play multiplayer with someone on the multiplayer mod and you don't have to have uh, you don't have to have the DLCs the special transports are pretty cool uh, I would recommend that and the Viva France is a updated uh, it's an updated map and Italy is the newest DLC so so those are pretty cool uh, but for Norway and Scandinavia, you need a Scandinavian DLC. And for Eastern Europe, you need a Going East. Yeah, you can you can play multiplayer. I can uh, give you the link. It's called Truckers MP. It's actually a mod, but uh, you can use your regular profile and play with. Uh, play with other people it is pretty fun you can do convoys and everything yeah that one is uh, pretty cool also I would just get everything because I already have everything <laughs> I think I have everything you can get for the game I think I have all the DLCs so yeah probably start with uh, with the base game and then you can always add the DLCs in if you like it yeah yeah they are really nice But just be aware it uh, there is a little bit of a learning curve when uh, when starting up so 
just so you know. BF streams. What's BF? Oh, Black Fox. Yeah, true. <laughs> Not boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I didn't imagine smell and playing. Uh... <laughs> I did not imagine uh, him <laughs> playing it. <laughs> Let's go into Stavanger Commune. Let's see. Maybe go into Stavanger and discover some stuff. And see if we can uh, find a job in there. And there's also a lot of mods you can add to the game from uh, the Steam Workshop. Uh, you can add, and also from various sites around the uh, interwebs. So you can have. Um, different trucks, more traffic, graphic mods, there's a lot of a lot of stuff you can add to the game for free and also the map mods of course. Uh, the traffic uh, varies but you can also add uh, traffic mods with a lot of different uh, variations and you can also add in real life companies and stuff like that but if you are adding in mods you should have a separate profile for that because at least if you're going to use uh, the multiplayer mod because the multiplayer mod does not support uh, custom mods <laughs> so you have to have um, you have to have uh, one profile for multiplayer if you are not if you are going to use use mods currently this profile here will be my will be my po potential multiplayer mod so when I'm starting to mod, mod my game again then I will make a, a separate profile for that so usually I when I have more profiles I start them in different countries so on this profile, I am in uh, my my home home base is uh, in Bergen. But if I start a, a modded profile, I will probably pick another country. Um, no, she does not. She's not. Uh, she's not into this uh, type of game. <laughs> And later on, when you get more trucks, you can go uh, go into these recruitment agencies, and you can hire more. Uh, uh, he's more like Witcher and games like that. Witcher, World of Warcraft, adventure RPG type of games that's more her 
favor. Mass effect. Anything Bethesda put their hands on, <laughs> I guess. I will also try... The cool thing about the police in this car is that they have uh, different... Uh, they have country-specific police cars. So, like here in uh, the Nor Norway, you have the Norwegian police cars, of course. And... Uh, yeah, and so on. So, all the police cars will be... Uh, adjusted to the country you are traveling to which is pretty nice I am also going to uh, I am probably going to see if uh, I get some of my bus simulators to work again get my uh, wheel adjusted for them let's see let's go and pick up some uh, some work drive school kids well probably that also it depends on the bus simulator I guess if you play bus simulator 18 you're a regular uh, bus driver driving around town so there you pick up all kinds of people I guess and you have some bus simulators that are more um, uh, more uh, do, 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 do. Uh, more tour uh, tour bus type of thing so but the main goal in those games are of course not uh, <laughs> not the passengers but uh, Oh, I see. So I have to go to that work. Oh, okay. I have a job that I need to do. And like, ah, oh, come on. Oh, man. Crash. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Nobody. But yeah, in this game, they have bus uh, bus stations, but there is no uh, no buses, or there is buses, but you cannot drive the buses. So I wish uh, there is no damage, like uh, visual damage, but you can get engine malfunctions and. Uh, and stuff like that so right now we are at uh, it wasn't a big crash we only got a ticket but if you get a high enough uh, damage percentage it can be a struggle to to drive or your engine might stall uh, all the time if it's too bad and then you might have to call the towing company and they pull you to the nearest uh, service center and that takes a while so uh, the consequences might be that you get too late to your delivery and if you are damaging the load you get less pay and less experience points so 
so that is basically uh, that is basically it you don't get there on time <laughs> that's the biggest consequence So, it can be good to uh, try to avoid, avoid crashing too much. It has happened to me sometimes that I uh, have fallen asleep if I, <laughs> if I play the game really late. <laughs> so, uh, it can be a good simulator on uh, what happened if you fall asleep behind the wheel. Because that's not uh, uh, that depends. Most people play it uh, properly, but in multiplayer you have all kinds of people. So you have some people that just are there for uh, to race and stuff like that. But usually, those type of behaviors get. Uh, uh, can get you banned and stuff because there is some strict rules on the multiplayer mods on the multiplayer servers so you have to pay attention to the traffic laws and everything in game and uh, yeah you can like you can get banned for uh, driving in the wrong direction down a road for example I got banned for uh, for that once. I got a 24 hour 24 hour ban for <laughs> for driving in the wrong direction. Or for I wasn't really driving. I was backing down and out to the side of the road, and uh, a mod uh, saw me doing it, so. I got banned. So it wasn't really serious, but uh, yeah, not in the single player, but in the multiplayer. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's uh, good that it didn't go worse than that. But yeah. I had I have been banned for 24 hours once only once though and if you really misbehave in the in the multiplayer servers then of course you can get banned for longer than that or a perma banned and stuff like that but uh, then you probably have to do even more but yeah it's um, the moderators, when they are cruising around, they cruise around in uh, in police cars. <laughs> so uh, they will be the police in the car uh, in the game, and it is really crazy when you are playing in the multiplayer because there is uh, people in in some areas. Uh, there is a high density of uh, players. So you can get stuck in traffic uh, very easy in some places in the multiplayer servers. But uh, but yeah, it is fun at least when you play with uh, with friends and you can uh, just uh, drive around and uh, chat, <laughs> delivering cargo. And then you can join my company, Lana. You can join my virtual trucking company. <laughs> and you can also you can sign up for uh, World of Trucks. Uh, World of Trucks is a site uh, where you get um, when you are signed 
signed into World of Trucks, you get more uh, more cargo options, like different trips, like the one I doing I'm doing now. That's a World of Trucks uh, delivery, and they also have uh, different events in the game, like from time to time, like de delivering specific. Uh, cargo or stuff to specific places and different stuff like that so and the world of trucks is the official like online community for the game but you cannot play multiplayer in that uh, not yet anyway if I'm not mistaken I think I have read something about them uh, planning to make an official multiplayer server thing but I'm not sure but that would be cool if they uh, if they've uh, added a official multiplayer side of the game where you didn't have to uh, uh, no, I'm using a wheel, a uh, shifter, and uh, pedals, like you can see them here. I just haven't um, gotten my setup uh, properly, uh, properly yet. So when I get my setups all in order, then I will add a second cam to my layout. Uh, the game works the same way in multiplayer as in single player. The difference is there is no uh, no NPC cars. There is only trucks. Like there is only players on the roads. There are no uh, no cars, except the police cars. <laughs> so yeah, lazy la lazy bones. Uh, no keyboard, no mouse, just the wheel, pedals, shifter, and uh, the button box from Farm Simulator. <laughs> I think it's fun in multiplayer if you play with someone. If I'm not playing with uh, with someone, I prefer a single player because then it's more uh, more stuff going on on the roads in various places but sometimes it's i i tend to hello warty <laughs> hey rubber duck <laughs> thank you for the host warty So yeah, sometimes I go uh, go on the multiplayer just to see the if there is some craziness going on. But uh, usually, if I'm not uh, playing with anyone else, then I prefer the single player actually. You got one euro fifty cents. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I I have tried a few times to play uh, with a keyboard and mouse and. Uh, that never ends well for me so if you have a controller uh, Xbox controller or something like that I would uh, highly recommend to use that instead of the keyboard if I didn't have my wheel and, uh, and all my setup then I would uh, would have played it with a controller that's what I did uh, most of the time before I got my wheels and stuff like that. Let's go with the auto pass.
always go with the auto pass when you can. It's much quicker. And of course, you don't need all the gadgets I'm using for the game either, but I have uh, just um, up, up, upgraded my, my setup over time when I have played it. So I have the IR tracker here, so I don't have to use the mouse to turn around like you can see here. And uh, I have the uh, sh uh, shifter add-on. Uh, yes, you you get uh, if you if you are cruising around and there is no uh, no police, then it's probably all right. But sometimes when the if you are going over the speed limit and a police car come by then you get a ticket or if you go by these speed cameras like here then you get a ticket and if you are driving on red lights and stuff like that yeah Yeah, Lazy Bones, if you have uh, Euro 1 and you uh, like uh, like that, then Euro 2 will be an upgrade. So yes, Lana, you have to pay attention to the, to the speed limit. You can add a setting uh, that limits your uh, truck's maximum speed, but I have that I have all the automatic settings off, so everything I do I have to do manual. Uh, so if I'm going too fast now, I will get a warning on my uh, GPS there. You can see if I get over 80 kilometers per hour here, it will turn red. Yeah, you see there, it turns red that means I'm over the speed limit. You can turn that off so you don't get any warning when you are speeding. Usually I have that turned off but I haven't done that right now. And yeah. You haven't seen anyone driving, driven a Iveco in a long time? <laughs> well and welcome Mr. Volvo. Well, I am starting fresh with a new profile and everything, so... Um, and yeah, I like the Veco Stralis. It's, uh, it's a nice little truck. Not the best truck in the this game. Is gonna be the coolest party ever. Thank you for the follow, uh, Lazy Bones. Appreciate it. It's not the best truck in the game, that's for sure, but... Uh, it's a nice uh, starter truck. It's uh, cheap to get and uh, or cheaper than uh, some of the others. But yeah. I'm just trying to avoid uh, the usual suspects. <laughs> a little bit. A little, little bit. But I'm looking forward to upgrade it though. Looking forward to get a this bigger engine. Hey, ever. thank you for the follow, Mr. Volvo. Appreciate it.
Yeah, I can imagine you did. Your your name uh, is telling. <laughs> I do like the the FH uh, sixteen in the game. I think that's a nice truck. Oh, come on. The engine is so little. <laughs> the engine is so little in this truck. I have to start with the low, low gears. So yeah, I just started completely fresh in uh, both uh, ETS2 and ATS. Uh, nice Lana, nice. So that's why I'm uh, low level, because I don't have my older, old profiles anymore. So we are starting from scratch. Ah, oh, come on. Really? I will send you some uh, some links uh, later, Lana, so you can uh, join my uh, my trucking company. Seventy five percent. That's a that's a good uh, good discount. should I go for? I think I can wait with upgrading that, but I want to be able to do some uh, ADR. Let's go with the... Uh, where's the... that one. Should do some uh, heavy transport. So now, Lana, now you can see what that special transport is. Oh no, uh, that's a good price, uh, Lazy Bones. Now we are going to do some special transport. Just do a quick job, make some money. Oversized load. So now we will have uh, uh, lead lead vehicles and follow vehicles. That's cool. This might be my last haul for um, for today because I have some stuff I need to do soon. 
So we'll see how long this takes. All right. Put on some beams. There we go. Now we are in a nice Scania because my truck would not be able to do this load as it is right now. And then it's good that we have the option of doing quick jobs. And when we get out of this area here, then we will meet the lead vehicles and they will uh, help us get to our destination which is in Oslo was it yeah yeah I think it was in Oslo Yeah, that's a nice one. Powerful, powerful engines are good. see here these types of uh, transports are nice to uh, when changing things up a little bit there you can see they have blocked off this road here and here is our transports now he's starting to go we will follow and there should be a vehicle behind us also but I cannot see him right now he should be there. There's the police. Okay. When we are in this type of uh, convoy, we don't get fined for the traffic lights. So we are just uh, following his lead and if he drives past the traffic light then we can drive past the traffic light. That's cool. And we will try to not damage uh, the load, that's important, or else we get less pay or we can uh, lose the job. And also we, can, we have to avoid hitting that uh, lead car, if we crash into the lead cars that's uh, insta fail I think, if I remember correctly. It's been, uh, I don't think I have played this game since April, 
and I only played it one time in April, so I haven't played it that much after after February at least. So it's uh, more or less four months since I played it last time. And right now, when I'm doing the quick job, we don't have to think about uh, the rest and everything like that. But if I were to do this job uh, with my own truck, then you probably need to be rested before starting it. Because you cannot stop for a rest stop during this transport. Uh, you it depends if you do the quick jobs you can drive uh, all all of them all of them <laughs> uh, but you cannot customize the quick job trucks uh, but basically you choose a truck a truck brand uh, that will be your starter brand so uh, depending on which type of uh, truck you want to start with you select that type of brand when you are uh, setting up your profile hey Alad oh uh, that's too bad yeah Volvo is a good choice I agree and when you have selected uh, the truck you want to start with, you select the uh, starting town. All right. You select a starting town, which um, for me is Bergen. And uh, then you have uh, one uh, truck, uh, truck shop <laughs> uh, available for the truck brand you have selected. And if that shop is not in the town you have selected, you are automatically unlocking a town where that truck shop is. Yeah! Uh, yeah, the Volvo is a good starting truck. It's good to drive and everything. But you have to make some money before you can buy it or you have to make some loans. So I would recommend to at least do quick jobs until you have about uh, 50 or 100k Norwegian. <laughs> yes, I'll hit. Now it's a party, and then you can borrow. And uh, because, uh, like the Iveco, which I had, that one is uh, below 900k Norwegian. Uh, but uh, many of the other starting trucks are above 1 million uh, Norwegian kroners, so it takes some time to. Uh, if you are not taking loans, it will take some time to build it up. <laughs> and I can recommend you to do what I do. Uh, only take up loans with the small loans because it's faster to pay it down. If you take the high loan for uh, like 500k, then you need 500k to pay it down. or you need to wait until it pays down by itself but with the small loans for uh, just under 100k you can uh, take like the full amount in those loans and then you uh, just pay them off in um, in smaller uh, one one by one when you have the when you have earned enough money for them Yes, salad. The sea of thieves. Sea of thieves tomorrow. 
that will be fern I hope I hope it will be fun <laughs> I hope they have added some cool new new stuff for us to do I hope I need to boot it up uh, later tonight and see that everything is updated just to make sure yeah yeah it's true it's uh, definitely a shill game If they have added some new quests for us, then it will be cool. I have seen a few streams of it lately, and it looks like there is some new stuff uh, added to it that I haven't seen before. It can be interesting to see. Yeah. Same here. I hope, hope and pray that we don't have any issues <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, let's just hope everything runs smoothly. Maybe, uh, Aled, we should uh, get together a little a little bit before we start the stream just to see that everything is working. Yes, we need to play Star Wars as well. Definitely. But we have some time for that. Uh, I will be a little bit busy in the evenings uh, on Saturday and Sunday. But uh, Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday we should be able to get a Star Wars stream in. Yeah, that sounds uh, sounds about right. So we we'll we will have to see, just take a quick see look see and see that everything uh, works all right. Off stream, so we don't have to spend an hour <laughs> figuring things out. <laughs> And then, when everything is working all right, then we can boot up the stream. That sounds good. And we try to use Discord chat, voice chat. Yeah, we have a we had had a good uh, a good few laughs. I have to tell my mother that we are streaming it <laughs> so she can watch <laughs> because she enjoys the Sea of Thieves streams. I think I need next time I'm out uh, visiting my mother, I have to make her a Twitch profile. Then she can be in the chat as well. <laughs> my mother my mother needs a twitch profile she's always watching so but I don't know if she's watching now, but uh, she's usually watching uh, at least in the evenings when I stream. I sometimes get uh, text messages from her saying that, uh, oh, there is some lag on the stream and <laughs> there's something wrong with the sound. <laughs> of course, I don't see them until after, though, but uh, 
but yeah, if there is some issue with the stream, she usually uh, sends me a message or calls me after the stream. <laughs> Just in case I didn't know. <laughs> Yes, salad. I also started working out again. Now I have had uh, one week with uh, bicycling to and uh, from work. And today I got back to the gym and had a full body circuit training thing. So I'm doing this now and uh, in about one hour I'm going to meet a friend and we are going to uh, take a little hike with the dogs. You have t started to take the stairs <laughs> instead of the elevators. Well that's good. It's definitely uh, better for you. I, re I remember when I worked in a reception, the canteen, the can canteen cafeteria thing was on the 10th floor, so I usually went uh, up the stairs, was dead tired when I got up there, but <laughs> it felt good. <laughs> That sounds good, Aled. Oh yes, uh, lazy bones, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely safer if the power goes. Or if the elevator uh, suddenly stops. Ah. Uh, then you could uh, just as well just take the elevator, Lana. If it doesn't, if it doesn't count, and it doesn't count. <laughs> yep, if they are not documented, they didn't happen, Lana. That's how the world works. Why is everyone into Fitbit? It's a nice gadget. I have a Garmin, though. I have... Uh, I have the Garmin Vivo Active for uh, that measures my uh, my steps, and I have a Garmin Edge for my uh, for my bike. Uh, mine doesn't tell it. The cheaper ones, they do it. But uh, usually mine does not count anything other than when I'm walking. So it uh, so it actually is pretty accurate to uh, to everything that I do. So if I'm not doing anything or just playing the PC and uh, working with my hands, it doesn't count that as a step, actually. That's cool. Yeah, some of the, if you have some of the cheaper models, they can do that. But of course, they oh, are up to updating the software for them uh, from time to time so improve that so <laughs> well you are moving your hands so should count as a workout shouldn't it
And yes, Lana, I was also kind of addicted to to that in a while. Starting to get back there though. Workout addict. Not the worst thing you can be addicted to, I guess. <laughs> yes. I want a Fitbit for my brain. Can I get a Fitbit for my brain, please? Oh, are you slowing down, sir? I'm going to crash into you. Yeah, same here. I've I've uh, had a oops. I had a liter of uh, or a little bit more of smoothie today. Banana, strawberry, blueberry smoothie. It was really good. <laughs> well. You can get more steps in if you do it, Lana. If you go and pick up the trash, you get more steps. A fitness meal. Nice. Oh, man. Water is good for you. I like smoothies, but uh, it's not for everyone, I guess. My wife isn't a big fan of smoothies. But I like smoothies. Smoothies are good. <laughs> oh man, how do you count your steps, Lana? Do you do it manually? You count every step and note it, write them down on a piece of paper? How do you do it? <laughs> Get lost. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, mine, uh, mine too. The Samsung Health. That one can be slightly more. Um, That can be slightly more inaccurate on the steps, a little more sensitive to uh, when you're moving around the phone, but uh, not too bad actually. I find it to be quite, quite precise, but not always. All right, we are closing in on our destination here. Let's see here. You're never getting a Fitbit. How are you getting fit without a Fitbit? <laughs> well, it's not essential uh, tools. It's just a, a means to an end. 
it's a waste of money if you're not using it but if you're using it and then it's not a waste of money tax people gave you 400 pounds that's cool that is cool high value I think I can squeeze in a small trip. One small trip. Yeah, the sleep tracking is pretty nice. You have to give it all to your dad. Oh no. Bye bye money. Okay, let's do uh, one quick little trip down to Aalborg. Yeah, I also got some uh, tax uh, tax money back. So that's nice. Always nice to get some uh, some money in the bank. And do you know what I'm spending uh, spending them uh, for, Alid? There we go. Yes! <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh, my little trick, Lana, uh, to avoid getting, uh, to make sure that I don't have to pay uh, extra tax, is that, uh, <laughs> no, Alad, <laughs> you get to see me, all right? Uh, so I, I adjust my, um, my regular tax every month. So I pay uh, voluntary tax uh, each month from my salary and that uh, makes it so I can uh, be certain that I get money back. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, okay, that doesn't help either. <laughs> That doesn't help. But I remember uh, some years ago I was uh, working full time as a security guard, one week on, one week off, and in my off weeks I worked, worked uh, part time as a taxi driver and a photographer. So I had, uh, uh, I got the highest tax I have ever had. Like for my extra jobs, I had to pay 50% of all my income in taxes. Ah, uh, yeah, it sucks. nice well it's uh, it's good when you get it back though so that's uh, you can see you can use taxes as uh, savings if you do it correctly you can do is you can uh, use the taxes as a saving thing The way I do it, that gives me some extra to go on. Uh, Lana, this will be my final uh, final uh, load, so I will be uh, off uh, real soon. Uh, 
I will just pick up this trailer here and deliver that and then I will be off. Whoa! What are you going to play later, uh, Alad? What are you going to stream? Some more uh, Force Awakens? Or... <laughs> yes, I'm trying. It's hard when looking at the chat as well. Oh, sorry. Hit the mic. Ooh, you have finished with the first one. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, say what? Yes, don't I have the advanced coupling on? Let me check. Audio. Advanced coupling, that should be on. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> I, um, I didn't catch you when you were live. So I was uh, skimming through your, uh, your VOD. So I saw that he asked if it was like Destiny. <laughs> And if the and if the stormtroopers were aliens. I'm not sure if I managed to get this done before I am signing off, to be honest, but we'll see. was my exit. Uh, yeah, I, I thought so. I didn't uh, didn't see anything uh, that I uh, would point, point my finger at, so... So it looked good, looked nice. Let's take this turn around so we can uh, discover this uh, stretch. I am actually saving. Uh, <laughs> I I I want to watch Rogue One, but I'm actually saving it so we can do that uh, movie night <laughs> in September. Lana, see the see the remastered versions. They they look nice, and they are still good movies, even if they are old. Don't have to be a bad movie just because it's old, Lana. I sometimes watch uh, Turner Classic movies, the uh, TV, the TV station. And they sometimes have some uh, cool old gems in there. <sighs> Alright, see you, Aled. I will soon be off myself. Going to take the dogs with me for a hike. So that will be nice. The fifth element? <laughs> the fifth element is cool. At least I thought it was cool. I I think I have the special edition with a special glossy box thing. 
on DVD. I like that movie. Oh, the Armageddon one! <laughs> well, that Armageddon is... Can that go as sci-fi, though? But yeah, Armageddon is good as well. <laughs> but the fifth element is cooler. Yeah, it's not really a space film. Not like sci-fi. <laughs> Well, it's about space, but it's not like uh, they are in in space. That's true, but it's not like sci-fi-ish thing. I don't know. It's borderline, borderline sci-fi. <laughs> More realistic, I guess. But there's aliens and flying cars and uh, blue opera singers and uh, that's the one of the coolest songs ever by the way that the op opera song in the fifth element I don't think uh, think I have actually, but I can imagine. I can imagine that it is uh, really good since I like the song already. <laughs> I am getting tired. I should find a place to sleep. So when you have the fatigue simulator on, uh, your uh, uh, your vision gets blurry when uh, that bed symbol turns red. Uh, you can just post it. Uh, you can post it here, but uh, post it in Discord uh, also, so so I can see it because. I cannot uh, go back and watch my my chat after. So send it to me on Discord also. Oh, that only takes it only takes a second in in time, but it uh, progresses the time like eight hours or something like that. But I think we are soon going on the ferry so when we go on the ferry we automatically rest I believe if I remember but here you can see what happens and if you get really really tired then it uh, turns the whole screen black for a few seconds so you don't see where you're going <laughs> and you can get fined uh, after driving for a long time with uh, Without getting rest, you get fined for that. So, so it's a good thing to try to avoid it. And I also have realistic uh, fuel consumption turned on, so you also have to pay attention to your fuel from time to time. It's really annoying when you uh, get out of fuel because you have miscalculated uh, how much fuel you actually had. It's been a few times, at least in American Truck Simulator, that I have uh, run out of fuel just before the uh, fuel stations. And that's always fun. Yeah, I'm soon going on the ferry. Relax. I'm going to sleep on the ferry, all right?
Alright. There we go. I know I am. So it says three hours to go to Hit's house, and then we have 100 kilometers to go. So that's cool. That's doable. Jesus, did not mean to turn off the engine. Yeah, I guess the song has a slow start. Does that in the movie as well, but then it takes off. But it is a good, uh, good song. So when I deliver this load here in uh, Olborg, then I'm going to sign off and I have to go to downtown so I can go on that hike. Yeah, that's true. And also the one, uh, the character in the movie is a is an alien creature. So <laughs> of course they have to edit it a little bit, but uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool song. No, no, no. Uh, I might stream later tonight, um, but I'm not sure. It depends a little bit on my uh, hike when I'm done with my hike, but uh, I will, uh, of course, uh, oops, press the wrong button. I uh, will, of course, update on Twitter if I'm going live. Don't know what I would stream later tonight if I'm going live. Maybe I should do uh, American Truck Simulator just to start my uh, my journey in American Truck Simulator as well. That can be nice. Well, Lana, I can post it in Discord as well, but you don't hang around there either, do you? <laughs> I guess you will just have to wait and see then. So I can let you know if I'm uh, going live. Either way. So maybe I should, uh, but maybe I should try to go live with, um... well that's cool, that's nice, push notifications, we like it. Except the one saying going live, what? What do you mean Lana? <laughs> what do I mean?
Whoops. Oh no. Ah, okay, yeah. Like that. I see, I see. I see, I see. What is this? Hey, Black Fox. <laughs> Where did I put my uh, light uh, horn? I don't know. Ah, I see, Lana. Yeah, that's about uh, the same as me. I also don't get notifications on everything, but I'm looking through my different apps on a regular basis, so it will just get too much noise if I were to get notified every time it happened. <laughs> but yeah, I'm almost done with this stream also. Uh, just going to deliver this uh, little uh, load of carrots. We are delivering carrots. And then I will be off. I have to go to the bus. Uh, now it's only base game uh, Black Fox. Completely vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. It didn't show in Discord that I was live. That is weird. That is weird indeed. But that might be... Uh, was it a roll or was it a notification thing? It doesn't always work, does it? But oh well. Not to worry. Not to worry. No biggie. We had a lot of people in there anyway. So somehow... <laughs> <laughs> People at least see me live. All right. So I am showing live on Discord. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I haven't checked up myself, so... It would be worse if my stream didn't work, if you know what I mean. If I'm not showing up as live, that's a slight inconvenience, but uh, not the end of the world, as long as my channel is possible to view. Although it's of course a little bit annoying when the automated systems are not uh, doing their jobs. Really, I need to upgrade this engine. It's slow. All right, let's see here. Maybe we should add one so we can have Bergen Oslo. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, da -da. 
Let's park our truck back in our garage. But yeah, that is the end of uh, the stream. I am signing off. I have to go to the bus, as I said. Uh, have a good night. It's the middle of the afternoon, <laughs> but I guess it's night for you. Um, so yeah, I will maybe go live uh, later to tonight. Not sure yet. So we will we will see. We will see if I'm live later tonight. I will update it on Twitter at least. So uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter. Uh, there is a link to it down in my panels, but uh, it is at Jesterix on Twitter, so it should be easy enough to find it. But for now, we will see. Uh, let's see here. Maybe there are some other truck simulator streams going out there, probably. Um, let's find someone that needs uh, needs some viewers. It looks like he has a cool setup. All right, I'm just shipping you off to a random uh, Euro Truck Simulator stream. So. Enjoy and have a good uh, Thursday until we meet again. And have a uh, good and uh, I might be live later tonight. I don't know uh, with what yet. Might be truck simulator something something. Might be something completely different. Uh, it all depends if I have time to stream it away. But for now, bye bye.